Is Arcade Paradise VR just another real task simulator where you do laundry over and over again that you should just skip? Or is it a well-balanced and splendor-inducing retro-futuristic gaming experience that you should play? Welcome to another episode of Player Skip on Game List Plus. I'm Josh, and today I am reviewing Arcade Paradise VR. As usual, I will go over the different aspects of the game, giving each a rating between 1 and 10, 10 being flawless. Give the overall score and the verdict as to whether you should play or skip the game. First, what is Arcade Paradise VR anyway? Basically, it is an arcade building sim where you can transform the family laundromat into an arcade where you can play all the games that are introduced, bring up their popularity, complete small goals to increase your earnings, and stop using the laundromat as the main source of income for your business. You'll have to do a lot of laundry to get to the point of making income solely from the games, but there are 39 different game cabinets to put in your arcade over the course of your gameplay. Six of which have new VR controls with an additional six being exclusive to the VR edition, having fully immersive VR controls to play with. The the game was previously released on consoles and PC a couple years ago, but Arcade Paradise has gained a brand new life in virtual reality. Let's jump in. First, I'll talk about the graphics. The graphics in Arcade Paradise VR are really quite excellent. While not absolutely mind-boggling by any stretch, they are smooth like butter, colorful, and bring out a nice retro aesthetic that makes the whole game feel like it's really in the 90s. Which was the best decade, by the way. The neon and full arcade vibes are everywhere, from the non-animated lava lamp, all the way down to the squiggly little patterns on the very 90s arcade carpet. The frame rates in the game run very smoothly when turned up in the settings, but it will drain your quest battery a lot faster. The reflective laundry machine interiors look nice and shiny in the dingy looking laundry area. It's really a nice looking game all around, although definitely not as nice as it is on Xbox, PS5, PC, or even on the Switch, but none of those systems are fully immersive virtual reality. These are no Asgard's Wrath 2 level graphics here, obviously. Some of the polygons are basic and things aren't as animated as I'd like them to be in some instances, but overall, I give the graphics an 8. Very quickly, if you guys are enjoying this video, this is the perfect time for you to hit that like button. It really helps the channel a lot. And also hit subscribe so you can see all my upcoming videos. Now, what about the gameplay? As the game starts out, you're commissioned by your father to run a laundromat. This is all he cares about. He does not care about your arcade gaming whatsoever. Obviously, that is what you immediately want to do, but you're going to have to do a lot of laundry to get to that point. You'll also have to maintain the laundromat by cleaning up all the trash and throwing it away, unsticking gum from random places, and even cleaning the toilet regularly. All these are rather mundane tasks, but they are actually gameplay, so it manages to be pretty fun, even though you're not playing arcade games much at the beginning. It's kind of like you're using the force to pick up the trash around the laundromat, which is pretty fun. And then throwing the trash away is like a mini basketball game with different score levels for distance. You must choose the right settings for the laundry and dryers for each and every basket of laundry. You can then toss the baskets and land them in the right spots, or just carry them over and load the machines. Doing the laundry right gets you the highest payouts for each load. Even opening the safe is a little mini game, which honestly can get a little bit repetitive because it's the same code and you just have to do it over and over. So as much as this is a bit of a work simulator, this portion of the game becomes less important as you gain more and more arcade machines which will earn you money all by themselves. This is where the business simulation aspect of the game really comes into play. Eventually it becomes more important to complete the daily items on your to-do list, such as getting a high score in a specific game or just walking down the street for example. You gain British pounds instead of dollars from those tasks, which helps you to buy upgrades from your handy dandy old school computer, eliminating your need for as many chores around the laundromat. The old computer is your portal to purchasing all the arcade machines, expansions, and upgrades. You also use the computer to communicate with your family and friends through email and an AOL Instant Messenger-like chat program. Who remembers AOL Instant Messenger? Man, those were the days. Pretty soon, you'll be making plenty of money from all the arcade machines to the point where you will not need to do laundry anymore unless you really want to boost your income. Honestly though, eventually, doing the laundry becomes pretty much pointless, which is what you're trying to build towards anyway. A whole other massive aspect of this game is the arcade games, each of which have their own leaderboards to match with online. Most of these games are some kind of clone of a real game with the same functionality. There are direct clones of a ton of games, such as Bomberman, Space Invaders, Arachnid, Arachnoid, Missile Command, Asteroids, Pong, Pipe Mania, Frogger, and Mr. Driller, just to name a few. There's a Pac-Man Grand Theft Auto mashup called Racer Chaser, a super fun VR integrated shooter called Smoke'em that I love, a great Tetris-like puzzle game called Blockchain, a twin stick shooter called Zombat 2, a Candy Crush inspired match game, as well as other games that I don't care for at all. Some that I would even say I dislike, like Wood Gal Jr. for example. Dislike. But hey, that is what arcades are like. Some games are for you, and some games really are not. 
Thankfully, there is a great variety of different games, especially as you expand your arcade to its full form. You can even play Minesweeper and Solitaire on the PC in the office, which is crazy. The possibilities are quite extensive. It is so much fun. After all the gaming and building and expanding, eventually you can turn your laundromat into a full-fledged arcade called, you guessed it, Arcade Paradise. I give the gameplay an 8. Next I'll talk about the controls. Controls in a VR game are an essential functionality that I just want to touch on in regards to Arcade Paradise VR. The actual arcade games themselves each have individual controls, some standard, some partially VR, and some completely VR. Each and every single one, just like in real life, has its pluses and minuses controls-wise. Some work very smoothly, while others feel clunky and awkward. I think it just kind of goes with the territory of retro gaming. When it comes to the actual controls of Arcade Paradise VR, the game itself, the motion controls feel a little bit clunky a lot of the time when doing standard tasks. I often found myself frustrated just trying to switch the knob all the way to the right on the washing machine, or even turn the dial on the safe in the office. Your floating hands can often get stuck on dryer or washer doors as you turn, as well as the baskets getting in the way of the doors and in front of each other. Grabbing on the toilet scrubber feels awkward and doesn't really line up with where your hands are, and using the activation on your hands to empty out money from the machines, as well as pick up trash, is a little bit chaotic. Sometimes you just have to stand there and turn your hand slowly to get it to the right position so you can actually activate whatever it is you're trying to do. Transitioning from console and PC to VR is obviously a challenging thing that was very difficult to do. Sadly, the controls for standard VR functions in this game aren't the best when it comes to tracking within the VR space. I give the controls a 6. Next, I'll talk about the audio. Boy oh boy, all around, I absolutely love the audio in this game. Right from the start, when you first boot up the game, you are greeted with the perfectly suited theme music. And wait a second, who is that that I hear? In the community and the modest but steady income it provides. Is that Geralt from The Witcher 3 playing your dad in the game? Yes, it is. That is Doug Cockle lending his voice brilliantly throughout Arcade Paradise VR. On top of the great voice acting, the sound effects are spot on, and the jukebox is packed full of great parody versions of tons of 1990s hit songs. From the vast array of sounds, from the arcade and washing machines, to the overall perfectly fit musical stylings throughout this game, I give the audio in Arcade Paradise VR a 9. Next, I'll talk about immersion. Have you ever had a dream where you woke up from the dream, and from that dream you woke up into the real world yet again? It's a bizarre feeling that's happened to me more than a couple of times. There is a similar kind of feeling that can happen in Arcade Paradise VR. You are fully immersed within the VR world doing laundry at a laundromat, but then further immersed into whatever arcade game you're playing while your laundry is still in the machine within the game. It's, it really is amazing how into a game you can be when your watch goes off within the game to remind you to do your chore within the VR space where you're playing a game. If you really want to mess with your own head, you should run a load of laundry in the real world, run a load of laundry in the game, and then play a game within the game then you'd be three layers deep. Talk about messing with the fabric of your reality. Anyway, the immersion factor in this game truly is amazing. Even when just simply doing laundry, listening to a great track from the jukebox, I found myself just slipping into the zone, doing the work, and really just being there. This is one of the better immersive experiences that I've had in VR game-wise. I had to set a real alarm on my real watch to remind me to stop playing and do real life stuff. The way that the game cycles through a day, giving you different tasks to accomplish, makes you really want to just get those goals done and get to the next day for new tasks. One thing that I'll say doesn't exist in this game that would have added a bit more to the immersion factor is other people. You are completely alone at all times. I know in the console versions there are some other humans in the laundromat and the arcade at times, not in the VR version. But even with the lack of people in the game, I definitely give the immersion in Arcade Paradise VR a solid 9. And finally, let's talk about replay value. The very nature of arcade games is replayability. Arcade Paradise VR is probably one of the most replayable games you can get on your Quest 3. There's such a nice variety of games to delve into. I feel like once I've gotten every single one of the arcade games set up in my arcade, it'll be a great way to pass off the headset to a friend and let them try out VR in my arcade space that I've organized exactly how I like. Or when I just feel like a great arcade experience, I'll be able to pop on my headset and do some gaming without spending any actual tokens. You can even place gaming cabinets inside your real space in mixed reality, so you can play your absolute favorites right there in your own living room or office, or in my case, my studio. I can see myself coming back to play Arcade Paradise VR a lot in the future. I give the replay value an 8. So what's the verdict? While the beginning of the game can be a little bit tedious doing the menial work of laundry over and over again, the game becomes more and more rewarding as you gain more and more arcade machines. The drive to continue the cycle of each day just gets more and more powerful as you accomplish goals. Like I said before, I found the time slipping away and I just wanted to accomplish one more task to get more machines and to reach a new high score on my favorite games. 
Arcade Paradise VR remains interesting and incredibly engrossing as you play, not to mention it's got a great sense of humor. When you go to try the pass-through mode, you go into the arcade to a VR headset, you put it on, which brings you into your mixed reality, which is really cool. The music and audio are great, the immersiveness is downright fantastic, and I can see myself playing this game for a long time to come. It can honestly be sort of hard to put down. Overall, I give Arcade Paradise VR an 8 out of 10. So should you play or skip the game, I definitely think you should play it. But that is just what I think. What do you think? What is your favorite technology from the 90s that you miss? What would you say is the best original arcade game from that era? Have you played the console or PC versions of this game? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, if you like my cool Quest 3 stand right here in the background, you can pick one up for yourself on the Zyber VR website by clicking the affiliate link in the description below and using my promo code GAMELISTPLUS to get 15% off everything in their store. While you're here, why don't you check out my play or skip review of Tropico VR, another VR sim port on Quest 3. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time on Game List Plus. Ashley, hello. I approved your proposal to convert the utility room and extend the King Laundry trading area. More space, more washing machines. It's a little obvious, but fine.